Have you ever walked past a bank or watched an action movie where bullets bounce harmlessly off a car window? If so, you've probably encountered one of modern engineering's quiet heroes, Armored Glass. Now, despite the name, Armored Glass isn't some magical force field that can stop anything. It's not completely indestructible, but it is an incredible piece of technology designed to buy you time and protection when danger strikes. Let's take a closer look at how glass can be made tough enough to stop a bullet right here on History of Simple Things. Glass is naturally brittle. Drop a drinking glass and it shatters. It has high compressive strength, but low tensile strength, meaning it can't handle stretching or bending. Armored glass overcomes this by combining glass with layers of other materials, making it far more resilient. The process starts with sheets of ordinary glass, but not the kind you'd find in your window at home. These are typically thick, optically clear sheets manufactured to strict quality standards. The surface must be flawless, no scratches, air bubbles, or distortions, because even the tiniest imperfection can compromise the glass's strength. Next comes the star player in this transformation, polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is a tough, transparent plastic. Think of it as glass's flexible, unbreakable cousin. It doesn't shatter the way glass does, and it's capable of absorbing a huge amount of energy. When layered between sheets of glass, it acts like a shock absorber, distributing the force of an impact and preventing penetration. The manufacturing process is all about layering. Imagine making a giant, perfectly transparent sandwich. Glass, polycarbonate, glass, and sometimes more polycarbonate in between. Once the layers are cut to the exact same dimensions, they're carefully cleaned to remove even the smallest speck of dust. Why? Because a single grain of dirt between layers can cause a weak point or create a visible blemish in the finished product. After cleaning, the layers are bonded together using a process called lamination. This involves placing the glass and polycarbonate layers under intense heat and pressure, often in an autoclave, which is like a giant industrial oven. The heat softens the polycarbonate, and the pressure forces it to fuse seamlessly to the glass. During lamination, a special adhesive layer, often made from PVB, polyvinyl butyrol, or SGP, Century Glass Plus, is applied between the sheets. This adhesive plays a crucial role. It keeps the layers firmly bonded, prevents shards from flying if the glass is hit, and adds flexibility to absorb more impact. Armored glass slows bullets, spreads the force, and traps them. The outer layer cracks, the polycarbonate absorbs impact, and most energy is gone before reaching the back. It breaks but doesn't shatter, held in a spider web of cracks for visibility and time. After lamination, each piece of armored glass goes through rigorous testing. Manufacturers fire real bullets at sample panes to make sure they meet the required protection level. This isn't just for show. It's to verify that every detail of the production process, from the quality of the materials to the precision of the lamination, is perfect. Armored glass comes with ratings from organizations like the National Institute of Justice, NIJ, or Underwriters Laboratories, UL, indicating the level of protection. For example, a UL Level 3 rating means it can withstand multiple shots from a .44 Magnum handgun, while Level 8 can stop several rounds from an assault rifle. 
Interestingly, armored glass isn't just for security. The same principles are used in safety glass for cars, where laminated glass keeps windshields from shattering in a crash. Airplane windows use multiple layers to withstand pressure differences at high altitudes. But there's a trade-off. The more protection you want, the thicker and heavier the glass gets, and the harder it is to see through. That's why engineers are constantly searching for ways to make armored glass lighter and clearer without sacrificing strength. In recent years, some manufacturers have experimented with hybrid designs, combining glass with layers of acrylic or using chemically strengthened glass, similar to what's found in modern smartphones. These innovations make it possible to have thinner, lighter panels that still offer impressive stopping power. From an everyday perspective, you might not notice armored glass at all. Banks, government buildings, and luxury vehicles use it discreetly. You might think you're looking through a normal window, but in reality, you're staring through a complex shield that's been engineered down to the microscopic level. The production process is painstaking. Each sheet must be flawless, each layer aligned with microscopic precision, and each bond completely free of imperfections. A single bubble or misalignment can compromise the entire panel's performance. Armored glass can last for years but isn't indestructible. UV light, temperature shifts, and repeated impacts can weaken its bonding layers, making them cloudy or less strong. So regular inspections are vital. Even the toughest panels can be breached with enough time, force, and the right tools. So the next time you're in a bank, a jewelry store, or even a fancy car showroom, take a moment to appreciate the quiet, clear barrier between you and the outside world. That smooth, polished surface hides a complex structure of glass, plastic, adhesives, and engineering ingenuity, all designed to keep you safe when seconds matter most. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.